Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Makeup Monday. It is your girl Tabitha here. So today I'm going to be reviewing a Silly Blender that I was sent to try out. It comes in a package of three. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to go ahead and see what's inside. Hey guys, so I took everything out of the package, but the Silly Blenders do come in this little baggie right here with the logo. And then it does come in this case, which I actually really, really like the fact that it comes in a case. So again, guys, I really like that it comes in a case because all you have to do is put these in the case, snap it, and there you go. Easy storage, and you don't have to worry about it. So they have the Circular Silly Blender. It comes with a teardrop shape, which would probably be good for concealer and foundation, actually. And then it comes with just your standard, your standard size one. It also came with a card and then on the back I will leave all this information in the description bar below but you obviously here you can have a chance to win some prizes and then they also have a discount code as well okay guys so right on the back of the box it does give instructions step one it says add a small amount of product to your Scylla blender step two apply product evenly using circular motions and three, to blend, use a gentle tapping motion. And then, of course, to clean, you just use lukewarm water. You can even use, like, your makeup remover wipes or, um, or a wipe and just go ahead and wipe it clean. But we're going to test out um, how easy they are to clean as well. So the whole point of this Scylla blender is supposed to be more hygienic. It's supposed to be easier to clean. And most of all, we're supposed to be able to save product. So what I'm going to do is I already primed my face already, but I am going to do a little color correcting. So I'm going to go ahead and use my LA Girls Pro Concealer. And this is in the color orange, which is good for dark spots. So you guys know it comes in a little squeezy too. I'm just going to wipe, put a little bit on there. As can see I do have some dark spots I'm just going to tap it on the dark spots I have quite a few and I like the teardrop one as you guys can see it goes right underneath the eye take a little bit from here do that take a little bit from here do that and then it says just do circular motions to apply the product and then we're just going to lightly tap. Was that little bit that I put on there honestly was not enough. So I'm going to put a tad bit more, just a little bit more. Please, please excuse my lighting, but I think that it's blended out pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take a cleansing wipe really quickly. Just my little Dollar Tree wipes. We're going to go ahead and wipe it clean. And as you guys can see here, it all rubbed off pretty easily. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to put one pump. We're going to see how much one pump gets me. And again, you guys, I usually use four pumps. So I'm just going to tap it all over like I normally do. Circular motions to spread. Circular motions to spread. Follow the instructions. <laughs> okay, guys, and now I'm going to tap to blend it out. Okay guys, you notice that underneath the eye here? Okay guys, so that was one pump. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I'm shocked. Um, it takes a little while to blend. I mean, this teardrop one is good for under your eye but even still like I feel like you have to be a certain way like you have to be like right here or you have to just go ahead and do this to make sure that it's well blended out 
but just looking at it it looks pretty darn good you guys like seriously I think it looks pretty darn good that is one pump of foundation honey one pump one pump So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just again I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this off as you guys can see very easy to clean all the product comes off on the wipe none is left on here okay guys I'm just going to go in with a regular size one and I'm going to do a, some contouring again guys very light makeup day I'm going to go ahead and use the wet n wild mega glow stick contour and just put and this is cream, so I obviously can't put cream on here, but I just want to see how it blends it out. Is it going to be difficult to blend out? I'm going to put a little bit here. Okay guys, so just wanted to zoom in so you guys can see. So it's very natural today. Very, very natural. But I like it. It blended it out, again, effortlessly. So now that you guys have seen how it applied, it's pretty good. Again, to use the Scylla sponge, you really have to have some patience because it's not going to be like using a brush or a regular sponge. But if you want to save some product... Y'all can see. So I definitely will be using this, especially for my Estee Lauder. Y'all know how much Estee Lauder foundation costs. I'm trying to use as little of that as possible. So the fact that I normally use four pumps of foundation, if you guys watch my makeup videos, y'all know. And the fact I only use one pump. And it's got... And again, I had a little problem with the under eye. The under eye takes a little bit more time. But again, I think it's a good, I think it's a good, a pretty good product. I like that it comes in three different sizes, uh, depending on the, the, your face shape and the tier one again is good for the under eye. You can pretty much use, you can pretty much use all of them for whatever you want. And this product is definitely going to be good for cream. I don't know how I'm, I assume that it works best with cream. It doesn't look like it's going to, you know, work well for powder, but y'all. Yeah. Okay, guys, so this product definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Again, I've already explained all the reasons why you guys saw it for yourself. Top of the thrifts, definitely thumbs up of approval from me. Again, like I said, it's going to take some time, y'all. You got to have some patience if you're going to use this product. I teamed up with the company to give one of you guys your own set of Silly Blenders. Again, it comes with three have these shapes right here it comes with a case and it's easy to clean you guys easy clean up easy storage so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run this contest run until July 12th which will be a makeup Monday video again I'm not gonna make an announcement I'm just gonna have the winner of this product down in the description bar so you guys will have to watch that video to see who won and again uh, we're going to see who watches this video to the end to even say that it's a giveaway because I'm not going to put it in the title or anything like that. So to make this giveaway a little bit more mysterious, just comment down below like you guys normally would comment on a video. And then at the end of your comment, just put the word Scylla Blender. It doesn't have to be in all caps. It doesn't have to be any of that. Just put the word Scylla Blender at the end of your comment and that way I will know that you want to be entered into the giveaway. Again, I'm going to let this giveaway go till July 12th. I will put the winner in the description bar and then the giveaway winner will have 48 hours to contact me via email. My email is in the description as well. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you guys have used the Scylla Blender, let me know what your thoughts are on it or just seeing me use it. What do you guys think? think so thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate you guys and i'll check you guys out in the next video bye I see it, I want it, want it.